Hey guys, what's going on? It is Salvage here. Before we get started in this video, I will just I would like to say thank you guys for 7,000 subscribers. I've gotten this in 11 months in I think 3 to f I think I don't know, no. In uh, 5 days or 4 days, it will be my 11 month anniversary on YouTube and then next month I don't know where we're gonna be okay I just hope we're at least a somewhat bigger maybe 8,000 subscribers by then but I just want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you to everybody who took the time to push that subscribe button uh, everybody who just decided to like the video and just decided to be a awesome person and say fuck it I will subscribe to this guy I will watch a majority of his videos from the bottom of my heart Thank you. There will be better con content to come. I'm thinking about making one video every two days now. Uh, very good quality videos, at least in my opinion. So thank you guys for staying around. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and today we're going to be talking about the Batman game that I want. I'm going to be listing off three things, in my opinion, and what should be happening in the next Batman game that's not Telltale and not a Narkham game, just a random Batman game. I could end the video right here and just say everything, but whatever. I just really, really want new everything. New villains, new settings, new voice actors, just everything. We need something fresh and completely different from the Arkham games in Batman Telltale to branch out, you know, have something great, have something new, bring in people that we've never seen or heard of before, just do more auditions for characters that we've never seen before, do more of uh, just a great Batman game, because we need new stuff for it to feel fresh, to, for us to feel like it's not copying Arkham or Telltale. In previous Batman games, Robin, Nightwing, Catwoman, and sometimes even Alfred, th they weren't really supporting characters and they were more of a cameo. I mean, Nightwing didn't even have a voice for three games. He wasn't even in three games. Alfred, I mean, he wasn't even in Arkham Asylum, and when he was, I mean, it was just a brief cameo. So I think for the next Batman game after Telltale, they should have characters play a bigger part. Like have Jason Todd maybe get captured as Robin, and then Nightwing comes in and says, well, I'm Nightwing now, Bruce, let me help you find Jason. That would be a really fun dynamic. Or have Tim Drake maybe become Red Robin, or, or have uh, Damian Wayne uh, try to find his mother. It would just be something that I would want to see and have them really impact the story of the next Batman game is having these characters branch out into their own stories. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys a question. What were most of the villains' motivations in the Arkham games? No, no, I, I'll give you a second. That's right, that's right. They, they wanted to kill Batman and take over Gotham. That's it. That was all the villain's motivations in the Arkham games. I, I don't want that for a next Batman game. I don't know what Batman game is going to be besides Telltale, but I don't want that for a Batman game. I don't want the villains to be like, fuck it, I am going to kill him, I'm going to take over Gotham. I actually want characters, not villains. I want people who I could relate to. If I'm Batman and I punch him, I want to feel like, you know, oh man, I feel bad for this guy because he doesn't want to do this. He just has to do this. Like Bruce Wayne said, Joe Chill didn't kill his parents because he wanted to, he had to. Joe Chill needed money, he needed some type of jewelry for money, you know, he needed this stuff. And the reason he killed Bruce Wayne's parents is for that reason. There's always a reason behind crime, besides the Joker, but you know, it just, it would play into the game so well and make you feel for not only Batman, but make you feel for the villains like Joker, Two-Face, Penguin, all of these characters that we've known for, for like years, we've known these characters, make them feel like characters, not villains. So that's it guys, you know, uh, that's, that's the video right there. The top five reasons or Batman game I want, I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet, but again, like I said in the intro, Thank you guys for 7,000 subscribers. It has been an amazing 11 months, and I am just, I can't believe this. Because some YouTubers, they don't even get 100 subs in a month. Some YouTubers don't even get 1,000 subs in a month. And I'm just, I, I mean, a, a year. And I'm just, I'm just, I can't believe that I got so lucky. Thank you to Caboose, Slick em Off, EGP, you know, the Arkham, the Arkham family. Uh, for really inspiring me to keep going and to just to drive and drive, drive, drive. Uh, the funniest thing is I almost quit one time 
which I didn't do, but I took like a month break and I was just gone for like the longest time. I was like, dude, I don't want to make, I don't want to make Batman videos. That's not my life. <laughs> now it kind of is my life. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.